boys and girls, it's Mr. Fallon, and we're moving on to chapter two of our Spot Run story time. Yesterday we started hearing our new book, Wayside School is Falling Down. If you missed it, yesterday's story was so cool. Make sure you go back, watch it, Spot Run through it. All right, we're on chapter two. It's called Mark Miller. Mrs. Jules rang her cowbell. I would like you to meet Mark Miller, she said. He and his family just moved here all the way from Macedonia. Everyone stared at the new kid. He stood at the front of the room. His knees were shaking. He hated having to stand in the front of the class. It was as if Mrs. Jules had brought him in for show and tell. He felt like some kind of weirdo. He just wanted to sit at a desk and be like everybody else. At, but worst of all, his name wasn't Mark Miller. He was Benjamin Nushmuck. And he had moved from Hempleton. Not Magadonia, but he was too scared to mention that to Mrs. Jules. He was afraid to correct the teacher. Why don't you tell the class a little bit about yourself, Mark, suggested Mrs. Jules. Benjamin didn't know what to say. He wished he really was Mark Miller. Mark Miller wouldn't be scared, he thought. He probably would have lots to say. Everyone would like him. Nobody would think Mark Miller was weird. Well, I guess we'd better find you a place to sit, said Mrs. Jules. She put him in an empty desk between Todd and Beebe's. Hi, Mark, said Todd. I'm Todd. You'll like Mrs. Jules. She's the nicest teacher in the school. Todd, no talking, said Mrs. Jules. Go write your name on the blackboard under the word discipline. Hi, Mark, said Beebe. I'm Beebe Gunn. Hi, Benjamin said quietly. He decided he'd have to tell Mrs. Jules his real name at recess. He cringed. He didn't know why, but for some reason he had trouble saying his own name. And what's your name, little boy, an adult would ask him? Benjamin Nushmutt, he'd answer. What? Benjamin Nushmutt. What? Benjamin Nushmutt. What? Benjamin Nushmutt. What? Benjamin Nushmutt. Oh, nice to meet you, Benjamin. He never knew what it was that made the person suddenly understand. When the bell rang for recess, everyone charged out of the room. Benjamin slowly walked to Mrs. Jules' desk. Somehow, he had to tell her. Mrs. Jules was sorting papers. Oh, hello, Mark, she said. How are you enjoying the class so far? Fine, said Benjamin. Good, I'm glad to hear that, said Mrs. Jules. Benjamin shrugged and walked out the room. If I had told her my name, she would have thought I was weird for, telling her, for not telling her sooner, he realized. He stood at the top of the stairs and looked down. Recess was only ten minutes long. It didn't seem worth it to go all the way down and then come all the way back up. He didn't have any friends down there anyways. He had never been more unhappy in his whole life. He sat on the top step. Mark Miller, he said out loud. It was an easy name to say. Mark Miller probably would have made lots of friends by now, he thought. Suddenly he heard a low rumble. Then the stairs began to shake. It felt like an earthquake. This whole school's going to fall over, he thought. He put his head between his knees. The rumbling got worse. I'm going to die and nobody will even know who I am, he worried. The new kid, Mark Miller, the weirdo. But it wasn't an earthquake. It was all just the kids running back up the stairs. Hey, Mark, why are you sitting that way, asked Kitty. You look funny, said Ron. Benjamin looked up. How come you weren't at recess, asked Jason. We looked everywhere for you. Couldn't you find the playground? asked Calvin. It's just straight down, said Beebe. You can't miss it. But don't go in the basement, warned Sherry. Whatever you do, don't go in the basement. We'll go down together at once, said Todd. That way you won't get lost. Benjamin smiled. He was glad everyone seemed to like him. Or at least they liked Mark Miller. He wondered if they'd like Benjamin Nushmutt, too. The bell is rung, said Mrs. Jewell, standing in the doorway. Now everyone get inside. She made Todd put a check next to his name on the board for being late. 
Mrs. Jewell's hand with a stack of worksheets to Benjamin to Damon and asked him to pass them out to the rest of the class. Benjamin looked at his worksheet. At the top right corner, there was a place to put his name. He didn't know which name to put there, Mark Miller or Benjamin Nushmuck. He left it blank and started working on the first problem. Louis, the art teacher, entered the room carrying a white paper sack. Benjamin forgot his lunch, he said. His mother just brought it. Who asked, Mrs. Jewell? Benjamin, said Louis. There's no Benjamin in my class, said Mrs. Jewell. Are you sure, asked Louis. It looks like a good lunch. I know the names of the children in my class, Mrs. Jewell said. Well, I'll just leave it here until I figure this out, said Louis. He left the lunch on Mrs. Jewell's desk and walked out of the room. Benjamin frowned. He looked at the white paper sack on Mrs. Jewell's desk. He couldn't tell Mrs. Jules' his real name now. She'd think he was making it up just to get a free lunch. He wrote Mark Miller at the top of his worksheet. For one of these days, he knew he'd have to tell her his real name. I wonder when that's going to be. I can't wait to find out. Boys and girls, our steps for today. Tune in tomorrow during Good Morning Muscles. We're going to move on to Chapter 3. Chapter 3 is called BB's Baby Brother. That sounds like a good one. Hey, have an awesome day.